a very quick video here, uh, a review of the Unity um, UT211B, and we can see there the UT11B, which is a clamp meter, and actually this is the cheapest clamp meter I could find on eBay that included DC amps in that clamp meter jaw. So uh, let's, without further ado, get it open. The box has little or no information on it whatsoever, at least none that I can read. And it comes in this fairly cheap feeling um, case here. And there are the probes for the voltage readings, AC and DC, and they're shielded all the way up to the very top there, and the pin claimed to be category 3, 1000 volts, I think, yep, those come off, so you've got larger pins on there to use as well. And uh, there's the actual meter itself, and it's quite neat, it's quite small, in a plastic bag, so I'll take that off. And uh, that fits quite well in the hand. It feels pretty good. Um, so there's the clamp lever there. And uh, obviously that's designed to be used on the thumb. Uh, it's got voltage readings there, both AC and DC. And uh, with a function button here, we can also check frequency. We've then got ohms resistance and with that function button we can check capacitance uh, we can get it to beep when there's continuity and check diodes the 600 milliamp range here is ac only but the 6000 milliamp range is ac and dc as is the 60 amp range and that's why i bought this particular model it's for that 6 amp dc reading on the clamp meter there and at the very top ncv that's non-contact voltage so you can put this near some uh, ac voltage i believe and it'll beep to say it's live which is quite handy there's the uh, screen there 6000 count meter and it's as good as 0.1 milliamp resolution. Now I believe that's in the 600 milliamp range on AC, so that's no good to me because most of my stuff is DC. Uh, but we'll have a look at the uh, resolution of the other ranges as well shortly. And then those probes go in the bottom and on the back. Well, there's just the battery compartment and this takes two AAA 1.5 volt batteries, so I'll pop some in. So here it is with some batteries in it, so if we turn it to voltage, obviously that will be using the probes there, it's just fluctuating at some microvolts there. Ohms, it's self-ranging, and I don't think you can actually fix the range. I think it's self-ranging, obviously those are the different modes for diode testing, uh, capacitance, and uh, resistance. And that's the audible mode. Uh, 600 milliamp clamp range. Well, that's just for AC, so that's not terribly useful here in the solar shed. And the 6,000 milliamp range, the 6 amp range there is in AC by default, and uh, I think we'll be able to change it there to DC. Now that's showing 15, 16 milliamps, but I believe we can zero that, because obviously there's nothing in the clamp. And that's fine. Was my ring affecting it? Seems to be. Um, 60 amp range again, automatically AC. But we can change to DC. Can we zero that one? Yes, we can. And then the non-contact voltage isn't showing anything. Let me just get some AC power. And as you can see here, it's uh, 
exactly 240 volt here in the shed and we can see that moving this close gives an indication on the screen that you're getting closer and closer to AC voltage so that's quite a handy feature if not a little bit noisy for a video. Now those of you who've seen my video before will recognise this little device in the background it's an AD584 I think it is K it's a voltage reference it's currently set to two and a half volts DC so let's plug in this uh, lead here and everything's fallen over but by default it's in AC mode here so we need to select well that's frequency and then DC volts and that's showing 2.5 volts absolutely dead on and uh, the confirmation on the back that it's 2.5 treble zero three well that's pretty good um, 5 volts there is showing whoops 5.003 uh, 7.5 volt ramps up for some reason and there it is auto range to exactly 7.50 and 10 volt 10 volts DC on the button so I'm fairly impressed with the accuracy of the voltmeter in the low DC ranges but of course the main reason I bought this was for the uh, DC clamp meter so let's give that a little bit of a test uh, DC is starts at 6000 milliamps 6 amps there and we need to change it to DC and I'll also zero it and here I have a 30 watt 35 watt sorry 12 volt halogen lamp and if I turn that on it doesn't show at full brightness but we can see here in this inline meter we're seeing 10 and a bit volts because of this poor quality cable but 2.8 amps so let's give this a go and uh, we'll put it there over the negative well 2.78 amps and actually looking at my other meter 2.78 amps so I'm quite impressed by the accuracy there and of course I'm clamping around one cable because if I clamp around two we find it zeros because the same current is flowing into the circuit as is flowing out and therefore it pretty much zeros so we'll just zero that again and try it one more time 2.76 and the port pal 2.76 so that's excellent and of course you can clamp the negative or the positive to get the same result so if I put that around the positive there it's now showing minus 2.78 amps and uh, yeah 2.78 amps excellent but of course in this simple circuit here I've been able to put an inline meter in but that's not always convenient and that's exactly where it's useful to have a clamp meter so I apologize in advance at the angle of this shot uh, but we're going to try and use the DC clamp meter here in a situation where it would be difficult to put a meter in line um, this top wire here going from this 15 amp breaker is going to my little inverter it's a 300 watt inverter and I've only got a 40 watt incandescent bulb uh, on the inverter but we should be able to clamp this wire here and read how much current it's using so I'm going to clamp this round the positive going to the inverter uh, just under 1.9 amps being pulled 1800 uh, nearly 1900 milliamps so that's really handy because sometimes it's not always convenient to put an inline meter in a situation so I've just been able to clamp around the positive here and read the current and of course I should be able to clamp round press hold and then check what it is so that's really handy as well when you've got wires that you find difficult to get to and uh, this one-handed operation 
means I can just press the hold button and show the uh, current there. So the most important part of the manual here for me is this section and the resolution and the accuracy. So you can see it's less than 1% plus 3 digits in the DC voltage measurements and we found that to be pretty accurate. The AC voltage measurements again 1% less than 1% a bit higher at the highest ratings uh, but I'm not interested in AC ratings myself. And the most important part here, DC current measurement, well, it's 2%, accurate to 2% plus a few digits there on the DC measurement, uh, which, as you'll note, is the UT211B only. And AC current measurement is very similar, actually. So Unity may not be the most respected brand. It is a Chinese manufacturer. But actually, in this brief test, I found it to be really rather accurate both on the clamp meter on DC current and the voltage meter here on DC voltage. I find it nice that you can fit it in the hand, access all the buttons and change the mode. So I think this is going to be a real useful tool here in the solar shed. It is worth noting that you do need to get the UT211B because the 211A does not have the same DC current measurement as this one, the B unit. And the B unit is a bit more expensive because it can measure those DC currents. So all in all, it feels pretty solid. I'm quite pleased with it and I think it'll be really useful here in the shed. Hopefully you've enjoyed this very quick overview of the Unity UT211B. If you have, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.